Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the two tanks inside the season pass, which is the Carnival in Action X and the 59 Patton. And I'm going to give you my opinion on those tanks. It's not good. So, starting off, uh, I'm just going to be playing two matches inside them and I'll be telling you guys about the reason why I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on this. I am not a big fan of what they're doing. This is recycled content like no other. Uh, the 59 Patton did get a buff a while back. They did buff the hatch on it. And they did kind of bring it up to par just a little bit, but it is still not good enough to consider it being a main go-to tank. Um, so on the armor here, let's go ahead and take a look. They bumped it up from, I believe it was uh, originally 76. Yeah, 76 point, uh, two millimeters thick. Uh, looking at this, go ahead and go live. Yeah, look at that. Just absolutely no problem against uh, 212 standard pin. And our version has 212 standard pin. Just complete and utter uselessness. 7.4 degrees over the front of the tank. You have to be looking over the side to get your full nine degrees of um, gun depression on this tank. Doing that, your top hurt does become strong. Hatch on the other hand, uh, it might be in the range of maybe 180 to 165 millimeters when aiming at it now, so this is 76. So right here is probably in the range of about 200 millimeters on console version. So let's go ahead and put a match inside the 59 patent once I put the crew inside of it. Uh, this is a tank, however, I just don't recommend. You are looking at lackluster penetration. It goes against tier 10. And, yeah, 250 heat pin at that is just not that good. I do believe that they did buff the power weight on this tank. I can't remember what it was originally, but it's not at 16.5 with the 56 top speed, 20 in reverse. Uh, terrain resistance looking good, shell velocity wise, 914 centers, 1219 in your premium rounds. Okay, that's nice to see. And let's put a game inside this. So, the only times that I play my 59 Patton is on days that I play the worst tanks in the game. And I mean the worst tanks in the game. This is not a good tank. And depending on the matchmaking here, okay, so we are top tier, this is going to be nice. Doesn't change the fact that it is still a very difficult tank. It's just, I, I, I'm not a big fan of it, I don't recommend it. So, season pass. Question for everybody. How many times have they given away the Paladin? Because, again, the Carnivon Action X is just the unskinned version of the Paladin. And uh, I think we've complained about that before on this channel for how many times they've given it away. I think I um, agree with Eclipse on this. Recycled content. They only have so many tanks that they like to give away. And usually tanks of the giveaway never exceed 250 penetration. Except for the T77. But Type 59 2, 250 uh, premium pin. 59 Patton, 250 premium pin. Uh, what was the ones a couple seasons prior? A lot of them have been 250 premium pin. They don't like giving away good premiums. A good premium to give away would be the Charlemagne. That would actually be a worth pickup premium. this. This is just, it's a joke. It really is. A bad one at that. Uh, okay. You guys want a bad joke? Uh, spell run and bend over. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That's a bad joke. Let's wait for the plot in the open here. There should be right about... Not bad shell velocity. I don't like the yellow popping up now, though. I don't know if he pulled forward or not. Let's go with those tracks. That's a good tracking shot. 520 track assist. I actually don't want to pull this just yet because I don't know how many tanks are on that back ridge. Tiger, you're back. And there we go. There is the Panzer. He's shooting at me. Let's back up. The Mutts. Can't say though that the um, couple new additions are really nice in the game. 
Basically having eagle eye always in effect though is kind of overkill. Uh, there should be a little bit of a delay on that. Come on. Now, what's behind me? I don't think anyone here is supporting me, so I'm in a bad situation if I get pushed. I think that actually calls for me just to send it down and get out of here a little bit. Actually, we're going to fight right here. Right here should be a good spot to fight. It's going to be a little bit awkward since we're aiming up, but keeping people spotted. Good assist damage coming in. Let's get to the right right here. It, it's a tank that the armor model on it, it's just, it's not that good. Don't get me wrong, the hull armor with it being flat the way it is, the hatch is giant. And it doesn't matter that they buffed it from 76 to 165. Because a lot of standard pin inside tier 7 is just going to be able to mow through this thing. And an Amex CDC. Not to mention, look at this turn. Oh, it's traverse speed. Super bad. It also could be the terrain that I was sitting on as well, so... Where the reload is pretty nice at 5.3. It's got a good gun, just a horrible armor model. The 250 uh, pin, however, is not that good. Standard pin at 212, though, this, if this thing standard wise is decent, but its premium is lackluster and struggles to penetrate trends consistently. So far, a good lineup in this match. Not bad. Yep. That ah, T twenty sixty four. I think he was down low. Yep. There he is. Let's go for a tracking shot. Let's get that assist on him if we can. And, uh, not a bad. Not bad match. However, as a reward tank, I, I don't see a lot of people being able to perform inside this tank the way that I did this match. I mean, unless you decide to try and copy my movements. Um, primarily, though, ricochet-wise, I was in a good situation. Uh, probably a bad example for the tank. But overall, this tank, in a lot of situations, does not perform the way that you see me just playing it. It is going to struggle a lot more. It Its hatch is giant. Don't get me wrong, peaking a ridge with the hatch is nice and all. And why am I getting PlayStation emblems? I'm a little bit confused about that. But it plays against itself, and there's just a lot of problems with it. Uh, why is it PlayStation? I'm not PlayStation, I am Xbox. Speaking of which, one thing I do want to check out real fast. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, up next, Paladin Carnivore Action X. So, uh, they have released this tank, I want to say a total of like nine times it feels like that they've given it away for free. This is pretty much like their number one go-to for giving away a tank for free. But rather than giving away the Paladin, they're giving away the unskinned version, hoping that people won't complain about it. Um, I'm going to complain about it either way. I don't have the unskinned version, so I guess it'd be pretty cool to get the unskinned version. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that it's literally the same tank that they're giving away. So, that's kind of my issue on it. And so here's some matchmaking. We're up against tens. So let's see how well this thing performs. Not to mention how much hit points we have. 1,500. And the new uh, Centurion AVRE can uh, drop me down by 1,400 hit points. So let's see if we can handle this. 
185 penetration is a lot for 1400 alpha. Even a 17 second reload is not going to be as scary whenever it's loaded. A little bit happy though. This morning on the live stream there was like 10 in a single match. Uh, it's a lot better to see 4 rather than 10. But a tier 10 that is uh, essentially super easy to get. 6,000 gold it is the cheapest tier 10 in the game. If you are brand new to the game and you want to get your hands on a tier 10 on the first day that you are playing the game, well guess what? The noob friendly centurion is your answer to getting your first tier 10 in game. I'm sorry, I'm against it. I think that being able to buy tier 10s outright is wrong um, because it punishes all the people who've invested a lot of time in the game who have actually earned tier 10s and now you have people who are brand new to the game that are capable of buying one. So. That's my issue with it. Alright, right here might be the uh, position I plan on holding and defending. Let's actually load an HG and see if we can break down this house all the way. Aim at the pivot point. I have to not destroy it the way I intended to. One is aiming at me, so we're gonna pull. Seven eighty. That's always fun. Can't seem to find the gun depression right here, but let's see. It's been a very long time since I played my paladin as well. More than likely, I will be linking the review down to this paladin as well. It was pre six point oh, so if you guys want to see some gameplay from uh. 6.0 and see a map we haven't seen in a long time that I would love to have back in the game. Yes, I would definitely post that review in the description of this. Okay. T34, you gonna pull? He looked my way. Sad. That would have been a nice penetration on the side if he didn't. Also, I do not recommend anyone to use a gun rammer on this tank. It reloads so fast that you don't even need to use a gun rammer. 4.4 seconds with a fully trained crew, 9 perks, rapid loading, born leader, and no gun rammer. And there we go, one of the biggest problems. Bit of an overmatch there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and load the premium and start rushing this guy instead. Not gonna sit here and get punished. Let's actually aim for that engine bay again. Let's go ahead and flip again. 14 to 10. It's assault. I like how the team's holding. You actually don't see anyone pushing up the sides being just held. It's always a good sign. Oh look, it's a Legion, it's a 59 Patton. Pop at the top with an assist. I wish that would have been assist because I pre ammo racked and then he uh, popped the top. See, assist like that would be really cool. It would give you an incentive to aim for ammo racks. Tortoise, T57. I'm actually going to go ahead and start loading the heat. Well, not the heat, but the uh, APCR. 258 standard. 258 pin this. So let's go ahead and do it for these tracks. There's one. We're going to go for it again. There's two. I can probably load standards now against the uh, T57. reload with uh, rations active. See, I don't think the Paladin's a bad tank. I'm not saying that's a bad tank or the Carnivon Action X. My issue with it is that they're giving it away. 
so many times that it's kind of like their go-to tank on giveaways, and then people just don't play it because they got it for free, essentially. Uh, it's basically a recycled and a season pass that doesn't seem worth it. The only reason why you would buy the season pass is to get access to the tier 10. Um, I believe the tier 10 should have been the tier 100 reward rather than just being able to go, oh, here, let me um, spend $30, literally 30 to get my hands on a decent tier 8, I guess. Not tier 8, but you get the gist of it. That's an EBR 105. Last thing I want to do is give him more opportunity to shoot. Two hit points. I kind of don't want to be hugging him, but not much I can do about this. And EBR. A little bit of struggling, a lot of uh, third person aiming there. And, yeah, even against tier 10s, I don't hesitate. I, I get aggressive and I use standards. So. Yay. Yay. Paladon. Carnivon Action X. Mastery Badge. Um, one mark of excellence because I literally never play this. I still have the same exact one mark that I had two and a half years ago in this tank. Um, so, my opinion on this, it's recycled content. It doesn't need to be reused as many times as it is. It's almost like every single four months or six months they're like, oh, we didn't give away the Paladin this six months. We're going to give it out again. And yeah, just, it is what it is. There's not much you can really stop and say like, oh, well, then this is great. Look, more PlayStation controllers. Um, it was originally Xbox controllers, but it looks like they just linked it all or uh, combined the platforms. Are you guys getting the PlayStation ones? Because this is irritating to me. Uh, makes me actually want to go look at my tier 10 real fast. No, I don't want to buy something. Stop popping up and making me almost freaking buy things. I hate it. Get out of a game and it's like, hey, guess what? You're going to buy something. Okay, well, there's my year one. Year one. These are all anniversaries. Uh, nice to see that those have not been removed. Well, other than that, you guys, uh, those are the two tanks and my opinions on them. The 59 patent sucks and I don't see people playing it competitively or even really caring that they got it. Uh, the Paladin kind of Carnivon Action X, or the Carnivon Action X, which is the one that they are giving away. It's going to be cool to get a duplicated version of the tank, that we have two of them now to play back-to-back. -back. Um, but, you see, 230 Alpha kind of doesn't really stop people from rushing you, unless you're capable of landing and consistently penetrating, or having allies to rely on to keep enemies at bay from pushing you. Other than that, you're just going to get rushed, because they know that you have very low penetration with a fast rate of fire. Fast rate of fire and... Yeah, you're going to find yourself not enjoying these two tanks that they have released. Other than that, you guys, thank you. Leave a like, comment, and share this video. That way more people know about it. Other than that, I am, you can, as you can tell, not very happy with the season pass. I don't even own it yet. I'm going to be buying it tomorrow, depending on whenever this uploads. It's the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys.